Well, there's always a lot of great things happening at the East Lansing Public Library. And today we are talking to Janice Solomon, who is the Teenage Services or Teen Services Specialist here, Teenagers. Uh, you've got a fun group to work with here at the East Lansing Public Library. And like I said, you guys always have fun things happening. That includes something fun for April. It's National Poetry Month. Tell us about that. Yes, we've had a lot going on this month for National Poetry Month. Um, the children and teen areas of the library have been working on blackout poetry, which is basically taking an existing page out of an old book and then a black sharpie and marking or deleting, kind of erasing different parts of the text to create just highlighting certain areas that are left. And so we've been doing that with the teens and the kids, and the teens are posting their creations on the wall in the teen room. Yeah. Um, and also we've had magnetic poetry and a lot of just like casual poetry events to celebrate. Uh, but our big event is coming up in two days, mm -hmm. and it is called uh, A Place for Poetry in the Public Library, and we are partnering with MSU Community Writing Center, and we will have an event on Friday, this coming Friday, from, uh, it's an open drop-in event from 3 to 6 p.m., and this is for all ages, and everybody in the community is invited to share poetry. It can be a piece of their own poetry, mm -hmm. it can be a favorite poet, it can be something about that poet's life, it can be a piece of artwork reflecting the poetry. Or they can just come in and, and listen to others. There's going to be a, a beautiful slideshow, video presentation. Um, we'll all learn a lot about poetry and hear some poems that we've not heard before and right. be exposed to a lot of new poetry. And there are also people like MSU professors of poetry and others in the community who are creating their own poetry that will be here to share um, local poetry as well. It's so a it's great way to come together as a community, express creativity, uh, and have a lot of fun together. Yes, and celebrate National Poetry Month. Yeah, now last weekend, uh, Earth Day, you guys had a fun event. Tell us about that. Yes, yeah, so last Wednesday, we um, worked together as an entire library and all community members who were available to come and volunteer, and we met up to clean up the outside of the library. So we picked up trash, brush, and then we had our SEAM educator um, take us back to the Maker Studio and learn a little bit more about Earth Day and about nature and ways to, um, just different areas of conservation and ways to be able to help in the community. Yeah, and you guys kind of always have fun events like that. How can people get involved uh, in maybe some future events if they missed out on that? There's a lot of volunteering opportunities at the library. Adults can volunteer by contacting Phyllis Thody. Um, and also teens can volunteer through me at, uh, we have a TAG group, which stands for Teen Action Group, and it's a teen leadership group, and we also do a lot of um, things around the library, just tidying up around the library, helping with children's services, preparing crafts, um, even writing reviews about books and movies. There's a lot of opportunities for that. We have more information in the teen room and also okay. on our website. Great. And I know May is a big month for you guys because it's focused on reading. Tell us about some of the fun things coming up. Well, we are finishing up, for the teens, we're finishing up our teen financial wellness seminar with M MSU FCU, who has been coming in all of April. That'll be finishing up in early May. We also have an astrology, uh, astrologist coming in nice. to talk to the teens about astrology. Uh, we have the cat ca cafe coming in a couple days, so we'll have two big adoption events on Tuesdays in May. And then we'll be celebrating grads in the end of the school year, mm -hmm. as well as focusing on our summer reading kickoff and um, signing up for the summer reading challenge. Yeah, summer reading program is really big for you guys here. So if people are interested in some of these events, they want to find out more, what's the best way to do that, Janice? Going to ELPL.org and then following us on all of our social media at ELPL. All right, very good. I'm tired just listening <laughs> to all the things that you guys have fun. There's going a lot on. going on. Yeah. You absolutely always have a lot of great things. Well, thank you so much for the information. Today. Thank you for having me. All right, stick around. We have got more fun coming up on Studio 10.